Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. Mati for all start the devotion guys, I would like to shout out the Father and Personal Channel na napunta rito at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out ang God bless to Jamaica Daing, Casey Urbina, Emilito Ras, Friends and Dog, Crystal Joy Balduino, Ben Lawrence Chonko, Nathaniel Abilia, Mikaila Lazaro, Francis, uh, Francis Sakin, Ermi Ernie May Rojas, Aria Bonani, Honey Love, Francis Laiko, Shane Gamboa, Michael Aborita, Yans TV, Connie Blog, Heart Ponsalan, Mami Rose Crop, SSC TV of Korea, Von Anthony Balmoria, Liu Bakoteco, P. Hops, Retro Blog, and Pink Bertog. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay na manood at makinig sa devotional, but still, nagpunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all kinds. Guys, sana nakapagsimba tayong lahat kanina, no? Kasi we really need to start our week with God, no? Same way as I encourage you to start our day with God. And of course, we need to always end our day with God also through this devotional. Kaya I'm inviting you to always come and be blessed. We need to sleep soundly. Iba nga dyan, di na nakaano, nagising because of... Uh, Ano, siguro nakalimutan nila si Lord, hindi na sila nag-pray, hindi na sila nag-devotional. Okay, we need to be here, no? In order for us to gain strength, uh, could have a good night rest, gain strength for tomorrow's activity. Kaya inviting you to always come and join us sa devotional. I guess it's not proceed our devotional. Let's open the Bible to Psalms 147. Still, guys, I'm using the devotion of the Bible because the words you see is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Psalm 147 says, Praise the Lord! How good it is to sing praises to our God! How pleasant and fitting to praise Him! The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them, It's my name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limits. The Lord sustains the humble, but cast the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with thanksgiving. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hill. He provides food for the cattle and for the young raven when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor in, in his delight in the legs of men. The Lord delights in those who fear, his, who fear him, who put their hope in unfailing love. Extol the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with finest of wit. He sends his command to the earth. His words run swiftly. He spread the snow like wolves and scatters the frost like ashes. The hurls down his hail like pebbles who can withstand his icy blast. He sends his word and melts them. He stirs up his breezes and water flows. He has revealed his word to Jacob. He slows and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his loaves. Praise the Lord. Amen and amen. I guess let's not pray. <clears throat> Father, we thank you that we are, you are our God. Everything that we need is in you. Healing from the infirmities we're suffering. Provision for the financial needs we need, O oh God. Even for the material things na kailangan namin. The safety of God that belongs to you. And even the salvation of our life, O oh Lord. 
Lord, you are the God na mapuntahan namin, O God. Please is to keep on praising and worshiping you, O God. Because by the time na mawala na kami dito sa Sunday Butan, O God, we are there with you praising and worshiping. That's the only profession, O God, na ginagawa na namin dito sa lupa at gagawin pa rin namin dyan sa in your kingdom, O God. Lord, teach us, O God, to praise and worship you. Thank you that you are God. na masandalan namin oh God. thank you that you always lend us your hand and that teach us not to let you go oh Lord God as you hold us yes Lord we commit all these things to you in Jesus name we pray Amen and Amen Hi guys the focus verse we have for this evening is found in Psalms 147 verse 5 and it says great is our Lord and mighty in power His understanding has no limit to how. Oh, ang ganda ng verse, no? So, the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is Hope in the Lord. The psalmist saw the power and wisdom of God in creation, as did Jeremiah in chapter 10, verse 12, and chapter 51, verse 51. That is why he enjoins his listeners to praise God in song and musical instrument in verses 1 and 7. Let us celebrate God for His creation, greatness, and goodness. Using the wonder of creation as a context, He reminds Israel that their mighty and wise God is also the one who has compassion on His people, who He punished for forsaking Him to worship other gods. Israel's devastation was both physical and spiritual, but God redeemed them and rebuilt their broken hearts and nation. He gathered, healed, fed, and protected them. The response he required was for them to fear him, but their hope in him. Praise him, thank him, and trust in him alone. In verses 7 to 14, sabi na sa natin. God's power and might in creation are to be enjoyed also by the whole world. In verses 15 to 18, but all must take heed because He is also just. He will punish evildoers and bless those who are humble, who fear and hope in Him, as we read in verse 6 and 11. As creator and sustainer of His beautiful world, can God not rebuild and bless our nation after the devastation of the COVID-19 pandemic? He did. He saved us. The restoration of our world cannot be accomplished by resilience, programs, promises, or ayudas, financial aid, but by God alone. We must depend on Him and ascribe to Him all power, wisdom, and compassion. This guys, we need to praise God. Buhay pa tayo hanggang ngayon, no? Despite the pandemic na pinagdaanan natin, ang dami na matay nun, guys, no? Just lately, my uh, poster mother died. because of covid no ano na nga siya february na no just uh, the other week namatay siya because of covid so still hindi uh, natin ko uh, hindi ta- tayo magkumpiyansa kasi andiyan pa yung ano yung covid na yan kaya yeah, this praise god because we're still able to live despite many people died of the pandemic no God's protection is with us. God's provision of healing is with us. God's provision of material things and penances is with us. God's safety is with us because He is our strong tower. He sends us uh, His warring angel to protect us. He covers us above all with His precious blood. Now the enemy cannot attack us because we are covered with His precious blood. Okay, guys, let's always keep praising God. thanking God of everything na binigay niya sa atin. Even the moment we rise up from bed, we have to thank God for that because binigyan pa tayo ng, uh, another day for us to live. And we praise God also for this day na natapos na. No? Again, we thank God for the wisdom, na understanding na binigay niya kung paano niya natin ginawa yung mga pinapagawa sa atin for this whole day. Kaya I praise God for having you Here in this devotional. That's why I really keep on praying for you as you are here attending the devotional. This is not for my sake, but this is God's uh, commission for me to do. To share God's word to anyone of us and to everyone of us nandito ngayon. God bless us.
because I know God will also bless the family we are representing. I guess let's now pray. Lord, you put under your power and compassion all our human and natural resources. We trust in your wisdom and power alone for our healing. Amen and amen. Yes, guys, healing, provision, safety, and everything belongs to the Lord. God bless us always because I know God surely bless us 10 times better. This again, your TV. Kita kita tayo mo na tayo sa muli. Paalam!